Welcome to video 34 on fun with Arduino. We are still working with our stepper motor and in the previous video we did find a zero point using a micro switch or a sensor and now it's time to make an exact amount of steps such that in the next video we can start uh, for instance to control a turntable like this. Um, so let's have a little look already. Yes, we can rotate the motor, let's say for 180 degrees. That seems to be working well. Let's have a look how we can do this. This is the software we ended up with in the previous video where we added the find zero routine to our code that's over here. The find zero routine was looking at a input pin and as long as it was not active we kept doing one step with a microsecond timer that depended on the number of pulses that this particular motor has. Um, so as long as uh, that uh, input pin is not active we keep stepping and if the input pin becomes active we jump out of the loop and make the motor idle. Something similar we are going to do to now make an exact amount of steps. Uh, we do that here in the loop. In the loop we make an exact amount of steps if our on off pin becomes low then we first make our indicator LED high and then we read the number of steps uh, we are going to have a look in a minute how we read it uh, but then we have a similar while loop while the number of steps is larger than zero we keep doing one step with a microsecond timer which depends on the step interval, which depends on our potentiometer that has been the same in all previous videos. But now the new thing is that we decrement the number of steps. So every step we take, we uh, make it one lower and eventually it will become zero and we jump out of this loop and then we make the motor idle. So how, how do we get this number of steps? Well, there is one added uh, function and that is just for demonstration purposes. If we are going to build a turntable, obviously the number of steps will be fixed. Uh, but now we are going to do a serial input uh, of it and we read the number of steps over here. And well, all that we do is check if there is serial input and if there is, then the number of steps reading becomes the serial input. We use the serial parse int function for that, which, have, which we have seen in a previous video. Uh, so that's where we get our number, uh, the number of steps, and then we use that number of steps here in this uh, uh, while loop. Uh, such that we get exactly that number of steps. Well, let's uh, see this in practice. Uh, I'm going to upload this code. All right, code is uploaded and the serial monitor gives the information. Don't forget to find a zero before operating. Here is my zero activator. And I did not build in the sensor, but this button here is now my sensor. So that sensor is triggered and the motor stopped rotating. This is my zero point. Now, if I don't change any input, it will make exactly one rotation. Well, let's have a look if it does. Yes, that seems to be yeah, quite okay. Uh, we can still use the speed, the potentiometer. It, uh, it does not interfere with the exact number of steps. It only changes the step interval, which is the speed, the RPMs. So now let's change the number of steps. Let's make it 1024, which is exactly half a revolution. Let's have a look. Yeah, that works fine. And now the other way, the direction switched. Uh, yeah, that looks fine too. And let's, uh, well, let's do 512 as a, uh, a step 
count and then it should be a quarter of a rotation yeah one two three four well this looks good so we have all the ingredients available now to make a complete turntable application uh, and that's what we are going to do in the next video see you back there bye bye